Okay, guys, in this situation here, let's imagine that I'm firing as my opener and he's gonna set up the neon bed, right? So, guys, he got the neon bed here on me. He has one hand on my lapels. I can't put it right now, bro. And he has the other hand on my belt or anywhere around my hip, right? Guys, first I'm gonna show what I don't wanna do. First thing I don't wanna do here is that many people do is the biggest mistake is placing the, this hand on the knee to try to push. Guys, when I do this, I'm giving away the armbar. Look, he's gonna catch the armbar, turn it to the other side, right? So this is like, almost like a Christmas gift. If I put my hand here, he got his gift. He's gonna get the armbar, right? Guys, second thing I don't wanna do is like try to push him away. He's gonna get the armbar in the other arm now. So I'm giving him everything, don't do that, okay? So guys, the way I wanna escape here is, I wanna close my forearm against his knee. So instead of pushing his knee with my hand, I wanna push with my forearm, because now there's no space here for him. Guys, my second hand here, my left, is gonna go on his shin, okay? So just pay attention, I'm gonna stretch my leg here to show you. Look, it's on his shin, right? So guys, now what I wanna do here is, also again, I wanna do a bridge, and once I do this bridge, I wanna push his leg towards my half guard. Guys, once I got here, now I don't wanna let him establish the half guard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hug his opposite leg and I'm gonna stop over here, okay? Guys, if you're a beginner or anything like that, that position you just stop is called deep half guard. And it's probably like one of my favorite positions, probably like my top two or top three favorite position. This is the one that I became very well known in Jiu Jitsu because it was my favorite. When I got my black belt in the beginning, I was sweeping like most of the people want to sweep from that position, deep half guard. So it's a very useful type of half guard. Okay, so let's see again. Fighting against Kyle, he got his knee on my bed, right? Even if he placed this knee a little further here, like more towards my diaphragm, I can still do the same thing. So first thing I wanna do is close my elbow and place my forearm against his knee, against his leg. Second thing, my hand is gonna control his shin as close as possible to his foot. So let me just show you guys here. Where's my control? It's over here, look. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bridge, lift his leg up, and also do this, I push his leg in, and I get the deep halfer right away. And that's what, what you call deep halfer. I have a lot of options to sweep my opponent here, but it's a little bit more advanced, so we are not seeing today. Okay, so one more time. He placed his knee on my chest. I'm gonna place my forearm against his knee, my hand against his chin, close to his foot. I'm gonna bridge, and I'm gonna push in. Even when I bridge, Kyle is not gonna put his knee on the ground. He's gonna keep his foot on the ground over there. So look, I'm gonna bridge and push in and get the deep halfer. So one more time, last one. He has the, his knee on my belly. I'm gonna close my forearm, control his pants, control his chin. I'm gonna bridge, push his leg in and get the deep halfer right away. And that's it. So that's it. My opinion, one of the best ways to escape from the knee on belly. Knee on belly can be a very painful position because the guy is going to put the knee on your belly, push, but that's my favorite way to escape.